Many homeowners likely used space heaters to stay warm last night, but the Harlingen Fire Department is urging people to be careful. CBS 4's Marco Ramirez joins us live from our newsroom with tips on how to keep your family safe and warm. Marco. Well, Chris and Faith, with the anticipated drop in temperatures this week, the Harlingen Fire Department wants you to know how to safely use those heaters and to avoid any danger. Uh, these devices take up a lot of power. They draw a lot of power, and that could cause the extension cord to get very hot. According to the American Red Cross, space heaters are the second leading cause of house fires during the winter. And since January 1st, fire departments across Texas have already responded to more than 70 house fires. Fire Marshal Juan Sauceda says the Harlingen Fire Department has been called out to several fires this winter. And while the cause is still under investigation, the use of space heaters is the biggest risk. When the cold weather does occur, the percentage of fires occurring due to space heaters does go up. But our first task is to go out there and gather the information, whether it could be the electrical or it could be the appliance. Local retailers tend to see a spike in space heater sales when the temperatures drop. Salceda says when buying a heater, make sure the appliance has been through safety testing and to always follow the instructions given to you by the company that makes the heater. Keeping three feet away from anything that could ignite is the best way. Also remember that the, you know, plugging it into the wall outlet is always best versus using extension cords because then the extension cords get very hot due to the amount of power being drawn by the appliance. Another tip on preventing a house fire is to always keep an eye on your space heater. Don't leave them unattended. Don't leave them on for a long period of time. Uh, watch out for children, pets that could have uh, tipped it over. It does supposed to have a safety feature from the factory that if it does tip over, it should turn off. But remember, when it tips over, it should still be hot to the touch and you do not know where it's going to fall and it could ignite. And if a fire does ignite in your home, HFD says don't try to put it out on your own. I say the best thing is for you to follow your emergency evacuation plan, quickly get out, call 911 once you're safe uh, at a safe area, and then allow us to do our job. And the Harlingen Fire Department is also urging everyone to make sure your homes have working smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. For a complete list of safety tips, you can head to our website. That's valleycentral.com. Working for you in the newsroom, I'm Marco Ramirez.